Hey YouTube, this is Skullshade, what's going on? And uh, welcome to my playthrough of XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Now, I've played uh, a lot of the old S <laughs> A lot of the old XCOM games, and uh, that was back when I was, uh, I was like 10 or 11. It was awesome. Uh, I remember this game being awesome. Uh, if you guys looked at the game today, you'd probably be like, what the fuck were you doing, Skullshade, playing the game that looks that crazy? But uh, they revamped it, and uh, they built it up from the ground up. And uh, it looks really good. So uh, I want to go ahead and uh, start a game. So we're going to play a single player game. <clears throat> now, I don't really want to play this game on normal. I want to give myself a challenge. So uh, I don't want to go to impossible. I tried earlier. Uh, <laughs> and it was just insane. Like, they never miss. Like, they would, uh, they would shoot at you and they would just, like, headshot you, critical, just destroy you instantly. So uh, I couldn't even get past the, the, the beginning of of, uh, of the campaign or whatever, so that was insane. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and play on classic, so an extreme challenge for experienced XCOM players only. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna go to advanced options. Uh, Iron Man. Uh, I want to enable Iron Man just to uh, just so that I can get attached to the characters, and if they die, you know they they go away forever. Uh, <laughs> oh damn, it's gonna be crazy. So we're gonna enable Iron Man. Uh, yeah, I need Iron Man. So, uh, that's it. So we're gonna be playing on Classic, not Impossible. Even though I would love to play on Impossible, I can't do it. Maybe later. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and accept, and then, uh, we'll start playing the game. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally... Arthur C. Clarke. an extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative, to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Time has finally arrived. All right, so I get to select my airspace. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'm not Asian, but uh, I'm gonna go with Asia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's confirm. That just the area of base. engagement for this mission will be in India. Uh, We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright. Let's do that. Looks like an interesting... Interesting. I, uh, I skipped the tutorial, guys. Um, because it was, it was mainly kind of long, and uh, I want everything Strike to be... Strike one. Like, this is central. Guys, so. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, I won't. 
Uh, let's see. So you get to move into cover. Like, that half shield means that you're, like, half covered. Uh, some stuff has, like, full cover. Like, if I went here, that has full cover, so... Uh, there's, like, a blue outline around here. And that just means that it's, like, my first move action. And everybody has, like, two move actions. So I can either... I can go here. And for, like, the basic class, I can take, like, a pop shot if I want to. If I see anybody. Uh, or I can just sit still. And uh, down here it says Overwatch, so I'm gonna put myself in Overwatch because there's nothing else for me to do. Overwatch means that uh, anything that, come, that like runs across or tries to travel to another uh, another area is just gonna get shot uh, by this guy. He's gonna get shot at. Not to say that he's just gonna get like dominated, but uh, but yeah. So we're just gonna try to scout ahead. Try not to. Uh... Oh, there we go. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. So there's some guys over there, so... I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if there's going to be more guys over here, so we know where the fight's going to be. Uh, if I remember correctly from all the other ones, and from playing on Impossible, is that you don't want to alert any more of these guys. So if you alert some of these guys, you want to deal with them first before you deal with, uh, with any, other, uh, any other guys. So uh, Let's go for a second move action. You know what? No, let's just go on Overwatch. Let's save. Uh, these guys still need to move, so... This guy's gonna move over here. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know what his name is. Oh. Brabin. <laughs> Alright, Brabin. You go ahead and you, uh... You, you deal. Deal some damage. So, put him up right next to this guy. Oh, so cool. Every now and again when you're dashing, you'll go into like a... Like a third person dash cam. The shooting's actually really cool in this game as well, so... Got a lot of heat on me! Oh, really? Guys down there. They do this like weird brain thing. Oh my god! What the heck? Spotted. Oh yeah, pop shots. Pop shot. Shot Damn wide. It. Damn it. See, she was an Overwatch, so uh, it let me to shoot with her. Oh my god. It's just alerting all of them. Uh, oh my god, that's just insane. How am I gonna deal with that? Oh my god. That is not cool, so I wanna set this guy over here just in case they try to flank. Or something something crazy, so he's over there. And these guys, uh they can't do too much, so I'm gonna get this guy over here. I forget what his name is. I think that's Rabin. No, Rabin is over here. Whatever the hell this guy's name is. I'm gonna try to get him on top, and see if he can get some uh, some damage going. Hopefully I don't lose any guys. Uh we're gonna go ahead and uh See if I, uh, if I get some shots. I only got one shot on this guy. 25%. Not cool. So. What I want to do is, uh. Damn it! This map! Not that cool. God damn it. Um. I'm gonna make him go around here. Like so. Oh man. 25%, eh? So. Go ahead and put him in Overwatch. And this guy, you my friend, need to go up somewhere. You know what? This is crazy. You know what? Let's throw a hand grenade in there. That's what I'm. Oh no! No, he was in Overwatch too. I totally forgot. Oh my god! Please don't die. Oh, four damage. That's crazy. You know what? This guy's gonna take one for the team. I know it. So I got one grenade. Uh, take out two guys over here. That'd be nice. That actually, man. If I do this, I can take out two guys there. Let's do that. Go! Throw the grenade! Going out! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Oh, okay. Well, I have to kill those guys because uh, we were getting owned. So, yeah! Put that in. <laughs> Silly. Alright, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, where where am I? Oh, I'm. It's Rabin! Alright, Commander Rabin. 
Time for you to do some damage. <sighs> yeah, let's try to move him up here. Let's try to get a pop shot at this guy or that guy. You know what? Let's just go ahead and see what that does. Uh, did nothing. See? Negative damage. Negative. No damage there. Oh god. I hope these guys don't. Man, what's going on here? He's giving him health. Stark. Okay, so whenever they give him health, if you can, if you can kill the fire. source, like uh, destroy the source of damage, where uh, where that's coming from, then you can uh, you can do some you can do some damage. Uh, it would it, it's actually gonna kill the guy who he's linked to. Uh, so I don't know what's going on here. I want to try to get through here. You know what? We're gonna slowly creep up on these guys, try to flank them. So we'll do this. We'll go on Overwatch. You. I'm gonna move right over here. Oh, nobody was on Overwatch. Excellent. Try to get me in there. Forty-five percent. See, that's not bad. So, shoot you in the face. You're not dead yet. It's terrible. Okay. Gonna move this guy right over here, like that. Gonna do one of these. Forty-five percent, huh? Seventy-five percent on this guy. I could probably kill that guy. Forty-three percent on that guy. You know what? Because if I don't shoot, you know what? He'll probably die anyway. So let's just go ahead. And shoot this no guy. Longer a threat. He's done. Mm. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Gonna go over here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna bunker up, actually. Hunker down. Hunker down. Doubles cover bonus and provides immunity to critical hits, but reduces sight radius. Let's just do that. Oh god, this guy is so done. Ah! Oh no! Who is this guy? Oh, great! Great! I think to use a med kit to stabilize this guy, so he's not dead. Cover dead. my flank! Uh, oh no! Over here. You, missed. you missed me, bitch! <sighs> God damn it. Let's just go over here, because that's what we do. Let's see if I can do some damage to these guys. Let's see. Guys, 49%, 25%. Let's just go for the 49%. Hopefully, 50-50. Let's do it. 50-50. He's down. You're down, Mr. Alien Scum. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna move just over here. You know, what? I'm gonna go over here. You know, this is not very wise, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Just because I want to kill this guy. <laughs> nice. There we go. Good work out there, Strike One. Cool. If I may, Commander. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Oh, excellent. Let's go ahead and continue. Go back to my base. Okay. So Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Ah. Soldier to be approached in the barracks. That's my base. That's my base. Oh, damn, some people leveled up. God damn it! Uh, yeah, Brendan Commander Gray. to the research labs. Damn Commander it. to the research right. labs. Sniper support assault. Okay, my sniper. Our sniper. snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. Okay. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. All right. Uh, need training. Training headshots. Um, okay, so headshot. Yeah. Okay, so these are like as they level up and such. Commander to the research labs. Commander uh, to the research labs. But this neat. <laughs> ah, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. 
so uh, he's a squatty, so I get the headshot. Fires a shot with a 3% chance uh, to critically strike. That's cool. And it's got a two, it's got cooldowns too, so it's got a two minute cooldown. So that's pretty crazy. So we're gonna go back here. Uh, this guy's our support. Uh, let's see what support. Just does. like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Okay, that's cool. Let's confirm. So that's a what? A smoke grenade. The smoke cover it confers plus twenty defense to all units, not just allies. Uh, okay, and last through the enemy turn. Okay, that's cool. So, let's see if I can use that wisely. The assault uh, class serves as our front line. Okay. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. All right. Confirm. What does this do again? Run and gun allows firing or Overwatch after dashing on the turn. Run gun is activated. Two turn cooldown. Okay, that's good to know. So he's got a shoddy, that's pretty cool. I have another class that, uh, some, some other guy didn't really level up, so, whatever. Wow, this guy was badass. Commander he got four to the kills. research labs. But Commander he's wounded. To the research he labs. balls out. So, uh, continue. They recovered the artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Alright, so I'm gonna go to continue. Okay, research. Research is like you uh, use materials that you get from the missions to uh, start researching like alien technology or or all kinds of stuff. Really, uh, engineering's like um, purchase like not really well, kind of purchasing like making making the weapons once you've reached researched them or making the armor or whatever other gadgets that you have. Uh, your barracks are where you get lab. shut Commander up. Commander to the research Shut lab. up. Uh, the barracks are for your your guys and. You know, to see uh, their stats and how they leveled up and stuff like that. There's usually a lot of uh, a lot of guys in here. I still haven't covered like uh, a lot of the game. I, I just played it a little bit, so it's kind of new to me too. Uh, the hangar is where your ships are. You can get like uh, you can research like uh, alien technology and equip your ship with it. So that's really cool. Uh, Commander you have to shoot to down the research lab. Shut Commander up! To the research Holy labs. shit! Okay, I'm going to research. Sorry about that, guys. Hello, Commander. Sorry. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Mm. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Excellent. I approve. Okay, start new research. Okay, Xenobiology, understanding of physiology, develop weapons and tactics better suited to combating them, okay. Weapon fragments, what does this do? These fragments are all in the remain of the powerful and weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to more weapons development programs, okay. Alien materials, uh, for body armor, right? Commander to engineering. Okay, let's just Commander do that right to now. engineering. Yeah. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. I get the point. Okay, so that project I'm researching. Uh, it says, at the bottom here, it says alien materials, normal eight days. So it's going to take eight days. Uh, and you do that whenever you're uh, you're on the little world panner and you get to do something to make time go by. <laughs> wow, I'm so dumb. Uh, anyway, so let's just go to engineering right now. Ah, this Commander. Guy. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Oh. Excellent. So, build by oh. items. Uh, I'm gonna make some medkits, actually. Let's go ahead. Manufacture. Actually, medkits. Manufacture. I'm gonna make one of these. Uh, only one Commander of them. Yeah, to mission two. control. Commander oh to mission she's control. So annoying. Uh, okay, so I've manufactured one. One medkit, so I can go back now, right? And I can build facilities. We've actually. still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities. We're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. 
Excavate, okay, so let's just go over here. Uh, let's build a power generator, I don't know what that does. Supply needed for to run new facilities, okay, so I built this. Take any facilities, so we're gonna go to begin Work crews construction. Workers on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Okay, that's cool. So we're building that right now, so we're gonna go back. Okay, uh... Okay, so the barracks. Where are the barracks? Are these barracks? Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Sniper active. So, we're gonna customize our dudes. Uh, right now, uh, it's been about 20 minutes. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the video here. And, uh, when we continue on the next part, I'll be showing you guys, uh, what's going on. Like, all the... All the little basic stuff that you need to know, that you probably know anyways if you played the game. So, uh, until that time, <laughs> see you guys later. Peace!